Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. But before we get into it, I did want to go ahead and let you guys know, you haven't seen me for a while because they tried to take your girl's channel down. They tried to punish me and give me a strike and all that stuff because the last readings that I put up about these masculines and all that other stuff, they got really upset. And then I posted the 18 plus reading and they tried to say that it was full of sexual content and how I can't have that in my channel. So they took my reading privileges and I couldn't do my lives and none of that stuff. So I did move to Ashley Lord's edition. So whenever you don't see me on this channel, feel free to definitely check the other channels because if I'm active over there and I'm not active here, um, you can still ask me questions and different things like that. However, I still have been doing personal readings. I've still been taking bookings and I was doing live on TikTok and their channel. I've also decided that I'm just going to just do TikTok every Thursday, Friday, possibly Saturdays, but I'm also going to do it on this channel. I may try to go live over there. Excuse me, but I know I'm going to start incorporating TikTok a lot. Also, tonight, y'all, I will be spending a lot of time. I'm making some new candles. I did make some new spiritual baths as well, too. That 40% off code is still working. Spook, S-P-O-O-K, S-P-O-O-K, 222. Yeah, that code is still working. So, like I said, I got a couple orders that I got to get out for those of you guys here who've been patient. I was waiting on a manufacturer for this stuff I need for the candle. But anyways, I'm going to make those tonight. Orders will be going out this weekend. Also, I will be posting um, more content of my candles, my works, my rituals, and all that stuff. Because you guys always, you guys never ask me um, about like seeing content or like me doing or working roots or working certain stuff. So I'm debating I might do stuff like that or like put it in my vlog. But enough chat, 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 chat. Everything to know is down below. Also, if you want to definitely tip your girl on your way in or your way out, pay for your readings for Thursday or Friday um, ahead of time to get a head start. Be the first in line to cash that pay balance down below. Also, if you want to definitely get donate a deck to the channel or surprise your girl with a gift or something like that, Amazon wish this is down below. Also, all the channels, CoStar, TikTok, Pattern App, etc. Don't be catfish on Instagram or TikTok. I will never DM you for a reading. I will never write you or ask for donations or none of that shit. So, yeah, my only TikTok is down below. I have another one, but that one ain't no. This is the one I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, y'all. Also, we just reached 715 um, subscribers on my personal channel, Life with Ashley Allure. And I just uploaded a fall haul. I think it's like a cosmetic one. Then I have a fall haul as in like a clothing one. I, I'm about to upload as well too. And like a couple other videos. But yeah, go check it out. Go check it out. And the weekly vlogs. Go check them out. All right. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get right into this reading. Enough is enough, y'all, because I've been talking too much. But anyways, this read is basically about, you know, leveling up. This is like a level up. Level up, level up, level up. Like Sierra be saying, um, all this money so yummy. All right. Um, but yeah, I feel like when it comes to y'all with the two of uh, can't even talk. The two of wands, I'm so excited to do this reading for y'all. Um, I miss y'all real bad. Two of wands, the ace of swords, and the eight of wands energy. I feel like what's going on, um, y'all could definitely be focusing on like leveling up, okay? But this is not just materially or like money wise or like monetary gain. It's about like spiritually, mentally, and physically too. And I feel like more importantly, for this group of y'all who are like focusing on leveling up, we're gonna go through the signs and synchronicities. But I feel like you could be calling your power back, realizing like what you can affect, what you can't create can't even talk what you can affect what you can create and what you can't you can also be seeing the angel number 333 or you could just be trying to figure out like okay this is my world and i live in it what do i want it to look like feel like or more importantly how can i be a better person for not only myself but the interaction with people in the world and more importantly find my purpose or get on my purpose path and some of you guys they have multiple purposes that's fine especially if you have a um a life path 11 you have multiple purposes you're very lucky all right um because my sister has one i just thought about it um but anyways like i said um yeah, with the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands energy, so like I said, you can also be finding signs and synchronicities as well, too, that are putting you in the right direction to see you labeling up. Or more importantly, people could be reaching out saying, like, oh, you look different, you talk different, you walk different, this is different, that's different. But it's like, yeah, bitch, I'm on a whole different timeline. All right, but we're going to go through the signs and synchronicities as well, too, because you know I love that part in my notes. So for some of you guys here, maybe you're um buying, like, new sneakers, new shoes, new boots, Nike Dunks, or, like, sneakers could be a significance as well, too, as well as boots, or any type of new shoe, period. All right. Right. Also, for some of you guys here, you may realize you just prosper better or you do better things or you have better luck or things are easier to obtain when you're working on yourself or when you're by yourself. You're not as distracted or more importantly, you're not worrying about anything, anybody else. So you have no choice but to focus on yourself or but to get to the money. 
get to the bag, do the shadow work, um, not run for your emotions anymore, or more importantly, um, go work out or actually take your body or your health more seriously. All right, for some of you guys here, somebody can have like brown shoes, but these are like dress shoes, A6, sneakers, boots, or like maybe you're debating if you're going to get them or you want them, go ahead and buy them. Um, for some of you guys here, um, you're going to realize the things that you're going to be leveling up are things that money can't buy. Like, of course, the money's going to be there, the material gains and level ups are going to be there in the near future if they're not happening already. But when I say things money can't buy, this reminds me of that literally Drake song here as well, too. Somebody could like jazz or saxophones could be a significance. Maybe you need to play this when you're doing your ancestral veneration. All right. But like I said, when it comes to things money can't buy, this is like mentally. So like your mental health. All right. Or more importantly, getting your feminine health together, your masculine health together, your physical health together. Um, right. You know, getting your spiritual health and um, discipline, consistency, growth, more importantly, um, stability in these forms and getting blessed in these forms as well, too. And, you know, you're going to have people here as well, too. They're going to be seeing you with these things money can't buy with the four wands and they're going to be wanting to join your team. They're going to be wanting some of your power, whether it's good or bad, some of your energy, some of your attention. They're going to want to siphon. They're going to want some of your manifestations. They want to know how you're doing, what you're doing, how you're securing this. And also, when it's his cup energy, they're going to be looking at that old version of you versus is who you are now who you're leveling up who you're becoming with the strength card and it's going to be very conflicting to them because they're going to realize i never seen them in a position i never knew it would be them or more importantly with the nine of pentacles energy they did all this by themselves or they can handle that heat they can handle that pressure or nine of cups you're going to be a target i wouldn't say a target in a bad way but like a target as in like for people's um energy for people to definitely be looking at you you know how you go to a museum and there's like a an exhibit where everybody's crowding around you go to see what it is and it's like this is what y'all are looking at that's what people are going to be but like some people are going to see and have all and shock and you know see your brilliance and the people are going to be like this is what y'all looking at with the queen of cups energy or i don't i can't interpret this you know how everybody has a different interpretation of art some people just simply don't have one at all because you know that's a reflection of themselves sales um but anyways, moving forward, for some of you guys here, you could be recently pregnant, recently having a baby, finding out you're pregnant, or more importantly, pregnant with a new idea, with a new future, with a new whatever it is. More importantly, you're just now bringing this uh, manifestation into reality, okay? But some of you guys here, you could also be craving a lot of steak or cardinal meal, not cardinal, carnal meal, like steaks, beef. Um, you know, lamb, lamb chops, steaks, things that ain't sure that are really like strong have a lot of iron in them or you could even need to work on your iron deficiency or finding out you have something or some type of mineral deficiency as well too we need to look at. Um but for some of you guys that you could also be feeling like you need to eat more grilled food or grilled food or food network or food shows or like trying to cook better, be better or um execute certain recipes could definitely be calling your name. Um but yeah also this could also be a situation where for some of you guys here you're going to be trying to do better with your health. And if you're a female, this is going to be like your pH balance. That man throwing you off your pH balance or that soap, that washing powder or whatever it is. Yeah, that's a problem. We need to get that together. You know, like I said, it happens to everybody. Don't just think that it's just one person. It happens to literally everybody. Um, also, you could be seeing the angel number 555222. Um, and, you know, m men have a pH as well, too. I'm going to say that. Um, but like I said, when it comes to you guys leveling up here, you guys have to understand that people with the seven of swords, they're going to be trying to see what your plans are, seeing how are you doing this what are you orchestrating but i don't know i'm seeing somebody kicking the leg off a table or like kicking the leg off a chair and it's like okay what am i gonna do now it can't be sitting it can't be used or throw it away or trying to like do that to you when it comes to your plans or what you're working on with the nine of cups or what you're about to achieve what you already achieved here or making you have to um regain or repurpose something or make another investment or having to reinvest or something you've already achieved or accomplished or you already obtained you have to reobtain it again due to somebody's negligence all right with the queen of wands energy here as well too that could be somebody here who wants more power fame notoriety or they feel like you know somehow some way you can do it you can do it again all right but yeah i'm seeing here with the king of wands and the seven of wands people are also going to be feeling as if you know the vision that you have or what they see you going or what you got going on they would have never expected that to happen or they're going to be acting fickle very funny like you was acting this way but how about now because i'm up right now Mm. and you suck right now like that could be significant like that song um how about now by drake i don't know i'm shedding a lot of drake energy it's because it's scorpio season all right um you know scorpios drake future etc um but yeah here we have sagittarius energy so like i said with the temperance card but y'all leveling up in these different kind of ways especially when it comes to my emotional boys and girls men and women who are doing the emotional um work the shadow work to be free to have independence here or more important transmute certain things and make them to where the triggers don't work or the buttons don't work anymore that people try to press um you're going to be doing this work as well too or you need to go ahead and start doing it now with the eight of pentacles here 
because you're going to realize not only is it going to pay off for you in the long run but it's going to bring in more abundance more happiness more success more um how do you say um tangible gains or tangible security here and also you're going to be feeling like you know you're paying yourself or you know you wish you could have done this sooner yeah also for some of you guys here there could be a fixed sign or sagittarius or water sign who's going to try to try your ass or fuck with your emotions as well too they feel like you're doing too much you got to one up on them so be careful all right but like i said overall with the queen is towards the issue at the two of pentacles and the ten of swords i feel like it's time for you guys to stop going back and forth about what if or what leveling up looks like to you or looks like to them or social media or whatever it is and kind of just saying fucking and dive the fuck right in lock in there's nothing else to do but to lock in you ain't got no choice but to lock in yeah with the two of swords energy because you could be trying to say I'm comfortable where I'm at or what I'm doing is working fine or I've gotten this far doing this and that, this and that. But it's like sometimes you got to understand that with the Knight of Cups in order to get that new offer opportunity or, you know, more importantly for certain shit to be revealed to you, to stay optimistic, to stay happy, to stay whatever it is, you have to be uncomfortable, okay? Bitch, don't get too comfortable like future says seven of cups because you won't be able to get these seven of cups or that gold because you'll be stuck with the coin that you have and one piece of gold and you think that's just as good with the star card. You have to understand that you are the star. So regardless if you like it or not you will be getting the attention people are gonna be relying on you using you for motivation whatever it is every star is different but you're the star for it the three swords the cherry card and the ace of cups but like i said it may hurt to level up growing pains but it also hurts to stay the same with the cherry card so is you gonna get into the limo or is you gonna walk or are you gonna fly there what the hell are you gonna do with the ace of cups because like i said the cup is gonna be there but only for a short time okay with the judgment card you got to see that judgment card with the king of swords energy. Make sure you're making decisions with a clear head and not being indecisive. Whatever you're indecisive about, it may not just simply be for you. Make sure you're getting clarity, getting a reading if you need to, a page of pentacles, asking the questions, being a student, being a pupil before, you know, you blow your shit up or you blow up your own spot, okay? Or a spot that's going to blow up three of cups energy or a friend group, a family members, these people that you're around, they shit finna go down. You need to make sure that you're out the motherfucking way, if that makes sense. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, y'all. I just had somebody do a personal reading. She's showing me that she did a review on Google. Also, if you've ever um, booked a personal reading with me or got a live reading and you want to leave a Google review, you can definitely Google me, Ashley Allure Studios. I'm going to start putting it down below as well, too, so y'all can go ahead and um, get that done as well, too. But yeah, because I be wanting y'all to do that, but... I be forgetting. I just be sending the readings and that be what it be. But anyways, like I said, with child who are leveling up overall, we do have the devil card. You have to understand that some people have one devil, other people have multiple devils. And there are certain situations where these things are meant to cause you trouble. These could be people ways of being situations etc archetypes they're going to be showing up with the magician card and the ace of wands where you're still going to have to say yes or you're going to have to understand that look for some of you guys you're going to get another chance for others you guys see you're going to get that manifestation of manifest that chance or opportunity and for others you guys see you're going to have to face this devil again you didn't win you didn't do it right or more importantly um you we love jesus but damn we learn a lot from satan this reminds me of that kanye west song all right for those of you guys here who are um, in between your religious views or what to believe um but like i said with the five of cups energy um yeah you're gonna be a loser or you're gonna feel like you're losing something or you're gonna breach that gap now that's worse you could be anxious all you want but more importantly that pressure that karma everything else is still coming you can't just walk away or be scared or whatever it is all right also with the hierophant card here in the pisces card like i said you can build or you can be busted that's basically what it is okay um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and go over what y'all need to know um this group of y'all i am going to pull some oracle cards um, pull some cards out of this bag because I know y'all always be asking me. So for some of you guys here, you may realize that certain things need to turn you on don't really turn you off. Like certain things you used to like to do or be around or whatever it is, it's not really vibing. You may have to realize that certain sacrifices you're having to make versus the compromises you've been making um, despite everything else. Yeah, for some of you guys here, the number eight or eight days is of significance. And I believe this actually came out in the seven day predictions either last week or this week. I can't remember which week it was. Yeah, that could be a significance here. All right, but this is what you need to know when it comes to making these um sacrifices and stuff like that, y'all. You got to understand it's, it's some people may call you a weirdo. They may start calling you weird, acting or treating you weird or because you're making a certain sacrifices or you're no longer putting them on top. They're going to be acting weird. But like I said, a lot of you guys, you may need to wake up before it's too late. You may understand this. You may have to find out that somebody's a weirdo and you're going to be like, like, damn, you've been fucking weird. You've been fucking this or you've been whatever it is. Or you can't figure out why, like, you're turned off by them or, like, why you're just 
just not vibing with them because this person's a fucking weirdo. All right, moving forward here when it comes to you guys getting y'all shit together, understand the obstacles in y'all way are going to be killed, removed, burned, and obliterated. Okay, and I feel like also this is going to come hand in hand with you going through awakening, ascension, and more importantly, you're waking up to what's going on around you or what you need to get done. All right, but some of you guys here, you're going to have people here who are going to be asking you, who are going to be asking why you, whether it's in their head or asking other people behind the scenes, like, how did they get this? I didn't get this. How do they, you know, get to move on to the next phase or get to do this? Or how do they get interviewed and they get to move on to the next interview and I don't or whatever it is? All right, it's going to be like going through some type of um, competition or championship could be a significance here or um the championships all american the tv show could be a significance but yeah the number 312 well, this is the area code whatever that means to you this could be somebody's address as well too or in the back of a um car but you gotta understand um i don't know why i'm getting pain in my right hand all of a sudden like that uh, it's like a sharp pain let me see what that means spiritually if somebody knows definitely comment it down below but it feels like a um, like, you know how you get a splinter, but you can't see it? It feels like that. All right, but some of you guys, you have to understand that people who have entertained slander about you but been running towards you, telling you like what people are saying about you or what's going on or, you know, acting like they have your best interest at heart, these same people, I feel like they're going to be seeing you level up and they're going to be a part of these same motherfuckers who they was coming and telling you, like, oh, this person doing this, oh, this person doing that, you know, da 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 And for some of you guys here, you're also going to have a toxic masculine or somebody here who's toxic. And everything about them is toxic from their feet to their meat. Everything is toxic about them. Or if this is a feminine, she may have a fat ass, but she toxic as shit. Understand that these people here, um, you may try to figure out, like, is this really love or this is just lust or sexual encounters or whatever. But you're going to realize that, you know, you're not in the mood for this person like you normally are. And it's because more importantly, you're going to realize it's either one or the other. Um, for some of you guys here as well, too, with you leveling up, you will be receiving a $1,000 manifestation. And I feel like you don't need to tell nobody. When I say tell nobody, I'm getting like, as soon as you tell somebody that you're not supposed to tell, you will be punished. Or you won't. I'm telling you, you're going to tell somebody here and they're going to be instantly trying to find out a way to punish you, a way to take it from you, or a way to make you feel like, bitch, you don't deserve that, or my, that's my money, or that you owe them something in some kind of way. Okay? Um, but like I said, with y'all leveling up, you're going to have people here who want to try to get in the bed with you or try to, you know, um, expose you, um, or they're going to try to, um, have you on expose, try to expose you, and more importantly, try to strip you of everything or every, anything, period. All right. Um, but like I said, with some of you guys here, you also be finding out that, um, you or somebody around you has a hidden pregnancy as well, too. But for some of you guys here, that's actually going to help your level up. Okay. Or that's going to parallel, not parallel parachute you okay and see your level up or why you need to get it done or what's going on and for us of you this could be a situation where somebody's trying to um make you lose it all lose everything that you've worked for that you're working for what you have going on all right um so you do what you will with this situation but for those of you guys who like i said you're supposed to be parachuting into a new destiny or leveling up and parachuting with this hidden pregnancy that you're going to be finding out about if or you maybe you've already found out about it um you have to understand that the spirit baby chose you that spirit baby chose you okay um and you know that's just what it is all right but as you guys here there could be somebody here calling you from jail texting you from jail this person has been to prison or county jail in some kind of way this person here is going to be trying to you know reach out to y'all as well too or they're going to be trying to punish you or somehow trying to trick you into thinking this is love but this person be talking about you slandering everything you could think of under the sun that motherfucker be doing it so don't be fooled by them i don't give a fuck what they're saying on that phone call i don't give a fuck how much commentary you send them this is not love after lockup. Even though I do like that show, this is not what the fuck it is. This is not 90 Day Fiance or however long that sentence is. This ain't what this is. Okay? But also, y'all know we do have that um super full moon in Aries coming up on the 17th. Let me see. Let me look on the calendar. Yes, it is the 17th. So, this will be Thursday. So, you may be seeing this video on Thursday, which is today. I haven't decided when I'm going to post this um, debate on what YouTube got going on. Um, but yeah, like I said, for some of you guys here, you may want to do some full moon magic here because even though you may not be do, doing full moon magic for some of you guys here, somebody who you have history with, okay, or their circumstances look a little funny, honey, they're going to be doing it. They sure is. Um, and they could be doing this on your bag or trying to make you not get in your bag or somebody could be doing it to get in their own bag. Okay. If this is what you need. Yeah. But some of you guys, Aries. Could have done magic on you before or aries placement could be a significant or maybe you have aries and i literally just said this full moon in aries this is a super moon y'all need to make sure you're taking advantage you're charging crystals you're making your moon water you're putting your spiritual baths out you know you're doing everything you need to motherfucking do 
okay? Doing your burning mode rituals, considering Aries is a fire sign, okay? Releasing your anger, smashing the plates and writing it. Doing what you need to do, all right? But like I said, also, don't forget to give some offerings as well, too, because some of y'all be trying to do all this shit and all this magic and all the transmutation and then be giving no answer, um, no blessings and offerings to your ancestors, to your first team, and to, you know, all that shit and be wondering why shit be going the way it's going. All right, but prepare to experience some departures, whether it's you going on a flight, you at the airport, somebody leaving you, you leaving them, you leaving a job, a place, a situation, a family, a love situation, a friendship, experiencing some departures, okay? Um, because some you some of you guys here, you may find out somebody's gay. Yeah, you may find out somebody's gay, or somebody's gonna find out you gay. Yeah. Or you can find out somebody around you is gay, okay? And you can be like, oh, okay. All right, but when it comes to what y'all got going on, you need to understand as well that you need to disregard the bullshit. All right, or more importantly, disregard the bullshit that's going to be going on around you. All right, this is definitely a money ritual time. This is the second time this thing came out for y'all. I'm telling you, it's time for the money rituals. It's time for the $1,000 manifestation. It's time for you to get this shit together, okay? It ain't time for you to be on a little girl, a little nigga shit. The answer is no. We done with that. We done with that. We in the fourth quarter of the year. We got this nine year coming up go ahead and get it together all right and for some of you guys here what you leveling up you are going to have some unwanted encounters okay right before you have um this unforeseen blessing so you can have unwanted encounters whether it's just like people clientele or certain shit that you just don't really want to deal with people you don't really want to deal with shit you weren't prepared for or hostility or tension could be a significance here before you get unforeseen blessings or good luck that comes your way but you're gonna have people as well too who are gonna try to join forces with you because y'all have a common enemy beware of that shit okay um because not not gonna lie you know and nobody's perfect all right but understand if that's not the case they're gonna be doing this because of you because they see you leveling up all right so like i said be careful skinny dipping in them damn waters because you may come in there too transparent too nude and you know it, it's not giving what it's supposed to give okay um but overall when it does come to what's going on um you need to understand that you know um also the way that you was raised versus the way that somebody else is raised is going to be why they can't level up with you or they can't understand this level up also what you need to know as well too you need to make sure that you're watching your mouth because i'm telling y'all um it's not some of you guys, it's what you're saying, but it's also about how you're saying it and people misinterpretations of you. Considering all this Aries energy we got going on for the next two weeks, motherfuckers finna be mad. They finna be upset. They finna be starting shit with you, starting shit with them, taking out their emotions on you, causing problems, arguing, all type of big blow up shit. Okay, so you need to make sure you're laying low. All right, for some of you guys here, um, also, there might be somebody here who just be having kids or they have a lot of kids or like, you may realize like, oh, so you just out here having kids. Like, you know. If you know, then you know, but this person here going to be all up in your mouth or being messy as hell, so beware of that. Also, you could be seeing 222 when somebody's getting their karma here, or this person going to be getting that karma, and that's just period. But more importantly, like I said, when it comes down to y'all and what you need to know, you people are going to be feeling like you're fake, or what you're talking about is fake, or there's going to be a water sign who you're going to think that they're fake, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They are. All right, but it's going to be a water sign who's going to think that you're fake, okay, because you got on designer, you look good, you smell good, or you don't look how they thought you were going to look or you have more than what they thought or you look better than them or you can afford certain shit they can afford or whatever it is or you don't have to go as hard as them okay um but overall like i said when it comes down to what's going on you need to make sure that your spiritual team is on point or you're like relaying with them you're giving them offerings and shit like that because also i feel like somebody here who's on your team or somebody you have to involuntarily deal with for some of you guys during this period they're going to have a big ass fucking mouth i keep saying this somebody got a big ass fucking mouth well y'all got some people here who got some big ass fucking mouths here but some of you guys here, this could be a masculine um, who thinks that they're just so funny. They laugh everybody out their panties, all right? Or um, try to get under everybody with, like, their charm or their um, humor or all that type of shit. Don't fall for that, okay? Um, but if it's a feminine, um, this person could be thick or they have hazel eyes or this could definitely be you. Take a hot resonates here. But like I said, overall, you're going to be getting a grand tour of what this level up supposed to be looking like. Or more importantly, motherfuckers going to be asking for an MTV Cribs tour when it's done or when they start to see the results, Okay? Or you do. But understand, you're going to have motherfuckers here who even go try to pull up on you at your home. Or just find ways to pull up on you. Come to your house. Come kick it with you. Come be around. It's like, bro, what, what you what you want? What you got going on? 
all right because motherfuckers um could definitely have desires about you here or desiring to do certain things with you or get you in bed or whatever it is but that shit is weird all right but anyways like i said um are you ready to take a risk because y'all gonna be having some risk here to go and be presented towards you um so where you're going to be able to make money especially if you're in a sticky situation you're in spiritual jail physical jail sticky situation or in a situation that you're trying to get out of you're going to be able to make some type of money all right uh, make sure that you guys keep a nice smile on your face or somebody's smile could be of significance all right um but overall um somebody also the name elizabeth could be a significance here why do we have the name elizabeth here somebody's name could be liz or elizabeth here um but whoever this person is i feel like they're going to jail whether it's spiritual jail or physical jail or they're going to be experiencing some type of hardship here all right because they wanted to be on a hate train or more importantly this person wanted to gang up against you or other people or more importantly this person would just how do you say start shit all right also for some of you guys here there's gonna be somebody here um who called you a hoe or um called you something derogatory here regarding you know your status or you being outside or you being a whole promiscuous whatever it is this is going to keep this person up all night this person could be a Sagittarius or they have Sagittarius in their chart and I feel like what's going on they're the real hoe but ain't nobody checking for them okay anybody good anyways all right and for some of you guys the people who called you a hoe or misjudged you because you look good or you got your shit together you leveling up or um the way that you dress or whatever type of shit or if you've dealt with sexual things in the past or your traumas and all that and they did that it's gonna be keeping them up late at night especially if you um have the the time to tell your story about what you've been through or whatever all right but like i said your truth is going to be of significance here because i feel like once people hear your truth they're gonna realize ain't no beef with you you're not beef with them and i feel like also somebody gonna try to beef with you like a sagittarius i'm gonna try to beef with you or somebody gonna be trying to beef with y'all okay um and it ain't even that or they're gonna realize you're trying to beef with me but bitch i'm talking the truth and they mad because you should get see their truth all right, but yeah, beware of who y'all live around your kids as well, too, because somebody's body's going to be found here as well, too, or body's going to be found soon, okay? um, You can see this on the news, or this could be something that happens around your, your, in it, your, your neighborhood, your city, your town, whatever it is, and it's not, this ain't got nothing to do with your level up, but for some of you guys here, this could be happening closer than you think, closer to home than you think, okay? Um, When it comes to motherfuckers who are trying to set people levels up or, like, trying to do certain shit when it comes to kids or somebody is trying to play custody wars and all that shit um, with kids and children and shit, but others of you guys feel like i said a match is of also significance somebody dna may come back here or more importantly a match for something with two and two go together and that makes sense yeah it says i ain't falling no with no hoe so you may find out somebody's a hoe or somebody got kids or more importantly somebody is yeah a hoe like somebody's out here doing some shit they ain't got no business all right but anyways when it comes to this reading y'all i'm not gonna talk y'all head off all right um a lot to say is when it comes to this level up, be motherfucker for real. Keep cups energy, keep it diplomatic, keep it pee. Um, don't get emotionally involved, but also be empathetic to yourself and your surroundings and have situational awareness. Don't let anybody take your energy, your time, make you make the bad decisions and with a world card. Understand that what's going on around you, that's why you're gonna need situational awareness, but more important, that's why you're gonna need to eight of cups, know when to leave. Okay, know when to vacate, when to cut somebody off, or who and what to let on your boat or um in your vibes here but with the nine of swords don't be anxious don't be sad or don't feel like you're making a bad decision or if you can't if you're first time you know doing something or putting yourself first and it feels kind of bad don't worry about it but don't let survivor's guilt get to you as well too this is yours and you deserve it period